And right now, I plan, I just make a... Uh, tell me you're nervous without telling me you're nervous. Okay, let's start over. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my first video of 2023. Um, my name is Alea, and I am the creator and owner of Made by Lily, which is an arts and crafts business that I um, created. Right now, I'm just... Um, I sell and I work on um, tumblers and I do a little something like this, a little something like this, a little something like this, and a little something like this. And um, right now I've been seeing a whole bunch of um, Valentine's Day themed tumblers on a whole bunch of my feed, on my Instagram, on YouTube, and on Pinterest. So I wanted to attempt to create so a little bit of an intermission here um so i thought that i was originally going to do the ribbon but i decided to not do it and i ended up taking the footage out and not putting it in because i felt like it was unnecessary so we're just going to jump right into a unplanned design my creations is trial and error so this is what my channel is mainly going to be about it's going to be crafts and such so crafts being um apparel because I, I eventually want to make shirts um i want to do all sorts of arts and crafts for you guys and i want to do trial and error i want to see if i can do it i want to recreate some people's things and see um what i can do and what i can make um so if you made it this far go ahead and like comment and subscribe be sure to subscribe because i would love for you guys to be a part of my youtube channel i would love to, for us to be friends i would love for you guys to show me your creations and let's get into the video okay so here i am getting ready to do one of my easiest methods that i love to do and it's acrylic pouring and after fumbling around with the ribbon for 30 minutes, I decided to go ahead and do this method, which was a last minute design. And I ended up taping off the side, the handle and the bottom. Um, I spray painted it with white. I prepped it with the mattifying liquid compound from Artistry Exposi. And um, you're just gonna see me here in the next clip, um, getting ready to set up all my paints for the pouring into the uh, cup. And um, the paints that I was using were from Apple Barrel, and it's just various colors of you know Valentine's Day Valentine's Day colors that I um, still had that I haven't used. So here I am just setting it all up. It really wasn't a rhyme or reason. Um, I shook them all up after I did all this. I had to go back and reshake it up, <laughs> and then re put it back up. But um, yeah, just enjoy some music as I'm getting ready to pour it into the cup and I'll be back. So here I'm getting ready to pour all of my colors into a cup and it's just no rhyme or reason on how to do this. Just put whatever color, whatever order you wanna go in and do it. I went from various purples, pinks, and reds and put it all in one cup. So um, I'll be back towards the end of this clip here. So just watch me pour it all in there and make pretty colors.
So once you have all your colors poured into a cup, you do not want to mix it because once you pour it on the tumbler, it's going to swirl and make its own effect. Um, you can add water to, you know, thin it out, but it's really not necessary. So you're just going to watch me pour it on there and make its pretty colors. Um, I do have a box that we weren't using um, to catch the paint and you can reuse this paint to make pins or you can use it for canvases um, just so you're not wasting paint but um, you'll see me here um, move it around like pick my tumbler up and just swirl it like I would alcohol inks if I was using alcohol inks so I'm just going to let you guys watch this process and I'll be back So once I'm done pouring in, I like to just kind of see what I, what all I need to do. So here you'll see me pick up the toothpick and I'll, um, not toothpick, the <laughs> popsicle stick. And I'll, um, you know, fill in any spots where some paint didn't get on it. And I like to um, also pop any bubbles just so when, it, when it's curing and drying, it doesn't leave any wet spots on the cup. And here you're going to see me picking it up, swirling around, getting all that excess paint off of it. And um, it's just important to do that so once it dries, it's not still wet. But here's the finished product of the pouring. Um, I let this sit overnight. Sometimes I let it sit for two days if I'm working on another project. But I just love pours just because it comes out so pretty. So here I'm just getting ready to... Um, clean up like the uh, rim of the cup if any like paint got inside and I'm just showing you this is an exacto knife that I got from Dollar Tree they come with different blades and I really like it and I was just in the video I was <laughs> saying to be careful because I have cut myself and it is not fun and I have poked myself and all sorts of things so just be careful when you are using it um, and then if you're going around the rim it's important to hold it at an angle so you don't scrape the outside because you don't want any scratches on the inside or on the outside on your design because that would suck. So once I'm done getting the rest of the paint off of the inside of the cup, I'm just showing you various glitters that I was going to use to match the colors of the acrylic paint that I used and um, it's just glitters from um, Amazon. And here you're just going to see me make a custom mix and I'll be back.
just wanted to throw a little bit of ASMR in there. But um, so this is my tumbler that is fully dry. Um, there was a little bit of acrylic paint that got onto the handle. And as I was doing the tack it method, it was my first time doing the tack it method and I tried it two ways. At first I tried it without adding any water because you can add a little bit of water, a little bit of water in it to dilute it. And um, so I wanted to try it and see what would happen if I tried it both ways. And I should have made the handle and the bottom of the cup a base color of the paint. So I should have chose like a pink or something because the holographicness didn't really show up on the white because there was no base color for it. So I tried, I tried this twice and each time I don't know if it came out good, but um, the first time I let my tacket sit for 20 minutes I believe and then the second time I let it sit for 30 and um, so you're just gonna see me here trying it and I'll be back so enjoy some music and watch me attempt <laughs> to do the tacket method So after I let it sit the first time for 20 minutes, you're gonna see me take my glitter mixture here and apply it to my handle. Once it is um, clear, once it turns clear, that's how you know you have the green light to go and go ahead and apply your glitter. Um, I made a dumb mistake not putting my, not putting anything down to catch my glitter. So do not do that. And um, yeah, so you're gonna see me attempt to, uh, see if I did it correctly you can see that the glitter was not sticking to the um, handle I don't know if I didn't use enough or what but um, once that's finished you take your finger and you rub and I guess you're supposed to rub really hard I don't know if I was rubbing hard enough so was it a fail I don't know but you'll see towards the end that it did turn out beautiful So I went ahead and uh, mixed water with the tacket just to try it the second time after letting it sit for 20 minutes. So after letting it sit for 30 minutes that time, I went ahead and um, just seeing if it was tacky and I guess it was, but do you see, I don't know if it's holographic or not, but um, so I went ahead and I applied a lot more glitter this time and I actually put down a piece of cardboard to catch my glitter and um, I don't know if the second time helped I think the second time helped a little bit better than the first time but um, I really didn't see a difference to be, to be honest I think I added a little bit more tacket this time than the last time but um, the next time I do this I will apply um, a base color the next time I should have probably just went with a white glitter on top of white paint but you know, what can you do? So after I was done rubbing off that second layer, I went ahead and I applied um, more glitter to the tacket um, just because I liked it, how it acted as a Mod Podge um, sealer for the glitter. It held the glitter on the tumbler pretty well. And you're gonna see in this next clip that I was supposed to do the bottom, but I was tired that night. And um, so I actually did it the next day. And here in this next clip, you're gonna see the end result. It turned out beautiful. I actually ended up putting some glitter, the rest of the glitter that I made into my resin and I put it on as a layer. 
and then I let it sit for four hours. I applied my second coat and then I let it sit for uh, 12 hours. And then, um, yeah, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video.